This is Anne from Happy Your Mom Home Cooking and I'm making yellow squash pancakes for a quick lunch today. Um, you will need one small yellow squash that weigh about 120 grams, two large eggs, two teaspoons of um, baking powder, 200 grams of whole wheat flour that is about one cup and two thirds of a cup, also uh, one cup of whole milk, uh, one eighth of a teaspoon of salt. I'm going to add to the milk and we'll put this in the freezer uh, just so it gets nice and cold for uh, blending the yellow squash later. Okay. I'll add two teaspoons of baking powder in the flour. Just mix it up to get it incorporated in the flour. I will grate the squash. into a small pot. To this, I will add a quarter cup of water, cover it with a lid and steam it over high heat uh, for five minutes. And the time the timer will count um, from the time the steam is visible. To serve with this pancake, I've, I have a one large broccoli crown that I've cut up into medium and small pieces. I will add it to a large pan with half a cup of water and steam it for three to four minutes. Again, the timer uh, starts when the steam is visible. I will also serve these pancakes with some yogurt, um, cut up pineapple, and some blueberries. Right, it's been five minutes. The squash is soft. I will uh, get the milk and blend it. After this is uh, blended, I will add two eggs in here and, all, and blend the whole thing. The broccoli is also done, so I will turn off the heat. Squash, the milk, the egg, and a bit of salt I had in there has been blended. I'm going to add everything to the dry mix. Whole wheat flour is a bit forgiving, so a little bit more stirring is, is not um, going to cause any gluing problem and it, it will still be nice and soft. I will uh, have the stove turn on to medium to make the pancakes. And I, I forgot to tell you, when once the broccoli is done, I'll sprinkle a bit of salt on it. Okay, I think it's ready. Yeah, about 50. I have a large uh, dinner spoon here. Just add the batter to the pan. The side is starting to dry out and I see a 
large bubbles uh, coming to the surface, I will go ahead and flip the pancakes. It's nice and golden. I'll turn the heat down a little bit. It usually takes a while for the pan to heat up, but once it's uh, hot, then the temperature will rise quickly. So I just like to turn it up down a little. This much batter will usually make more than what we eat, but I like to keep the extra in the fridge just in case the kids want a snack later or tomorrow. Um, plus, it's good to have some vegetable added in the batter. That way I make sure that they get uh, enough fiber and vitamins that they need for the day. I'm gonna show you real quick. Um, a simple design that you can make to make it fun for the kids to eat is just a round circle and then two smaller circles on the top. It's like a mouse shape. Sorry, I just broke a bit, but it still looks pretty. I think my kids are gonna love it. Anyway, I'll finish making the rest of the pancakes and I'll see you in the next video. Bye, have a good day.